In this problem, we're told to evaluate the improper integral from minus infinity to zero of one over three minus four x dx. So in order to find an improper integral like this, what you're gonna wanna do is rewrite it as a limit. So we can say it's equal to the limit, and then you're gonna wanna choose a variable. It can be any letter you want. So I'm gonna choose t. So we're gonna say as t approaches, uh, and then what you're gonna wanna do is look at your bounds. And if you have a definite number like this, like zero, and then an infinity or negative infinity, uh, you're gonna wanna say that t approaches whatever it is. So in this case, we have a negative infinity. So we say t approaches negative infinity. So the limit as t approaches negative infinity. And then what you want to do is just rewrite your integral, right? But you're just going to replace the negative infinity with the variable you chose. So we're going to say the limit as t approaches negative infinity of, and so negative infinity is just going to be t, and then t to 0 of 1 over 3 minus 4x dx. So essentially what we did is we just said, uh, t is going to approach negative infinity or the infinity or negative infinity, whatever you have in your problem. And then we just rewrite our integral with t instead of the negative infinity. So now what we're going to want to do is just solve this uh, integral right here. So let me just rewrite it. So we have the integral from t to 0 of 1 over 3 minus 4x dx. And so the way we're going to solve this is by using u substitution, right? Because if we say u equals 3 minus 4x, then du is essentially just going to be, this would go to zero, right? The derivative of three is zero. And then the derivative of minus four x is just minus four. So it's just going to be minus four uh, dx. So that's going to be du. So let's rewrite our integral and replace whatever, or replace three minus four x with u. So by now you should be pretty good at solving these u substitution. So one over u and then du is equal to, or dx, Right, if we divide both of these by minus 4, dx is equal to du over minus 4. So du over minus 4. What we can go ahead and do is just move this out. So I'm just going to say like this, du, this is minus 4. So minus 4 times 1 over u. And so you should know that the, now we just got to find the antiderivative of this. So 1 over u is just um, the absolute value or ln of the absolute value of u. Right, but we still have this minus 4 out front. So I actually made a mistake, my bad. Uh, this isn't a minus 4 out front, and the reason that is is because this is du over minus 4. Right, I just moved it up top, but it's really minus 1 over 4. Sorry about that. But yeah, so it's going to be minus 1 over 4 times 1 over u. And so we can just rewrite this, or if we find the antiderivative, it's going to be minus 1 over 4 times the ln of the absolute value of u. Right, because 1 over u is just ln of the absolute value of u, and then we're just multiplying it by minus 1 over 4. So that's going to be the anti, the antiderivative, but we have to replace u with this right here. So it's going to be minus 1 over 4 times the ln of, and then we're replacing u with this. So 3 minus 4x, and then now we can evaluate it from our range, so 0 and t. So now let's go ahead and just plug these in. So it's going to be equal to minus 1 over 4. So we just plug in 0, get a value minus plug in t. So if we plug in 0, minus 1 over 4 times the ln of 3 minus uh, 4 times 0. 4 times 0 is just 0. 3 minus 0 is just going to be 3. So the ln of 3, so that's going to be the first part. And then minus, now let's plug in t. So minus minus 1 over 4 is just going to become positive. So it's plus 1 over 4 times the ln of uh, the absolute value of 3 minus 4t. So this is going to be uh, this, right? So this whole thing, we could have plus c, but uh, it's definite, right? So this whole thing is just going to be this integral right here. But don't forget, we have to evaluate it as a limit. So we have the limit as t approaches negative infinity of this whole thing right here. So now we have to evaluate it as a limit. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we have to replace t with negative infinity. So if we go ahead and do that, uh, minus 4 times negative uh, negative infinity, because we're just replacing the t with it. Negative 4 times uh, negative infinity. These in, uh, negative signs are just going to cancel out. So 4 times infinity is still going to be infinity, right? It's just a really big number. So we have infinity. And then this would just become 3 plus infinity. So 3 plus infinity is still infinity. And then so we have the absolute value of infinity. It's still positive. So we just have plus 1 over 4 times the ln of infinity. The ln of infinity is still infinity, so this is just going to go to a really big number. Even if we multiply by 1 over 4, it's still going to be infinity, right? Because we could just keep going bigger, and it's still just going to go to a really, really big number. 
So this whole thing right here, if we plug in infinity, it's going to go to infinity. So we have plus infinity. And so this right here is just going to be a constant, right? Uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but essentially this constant, if we add it to this number, if you take a constant and add it to infinity, it's still going to be infinity. So this whole thing is just going to be infinity, right? So this limit is equal to infinity. Because you could see this is infinity and then plus a constant, it's still infinity. So it's going to approach infinity. And since it approaches infinity, it's going to mean that it diverges. So when you solve this, if it, if it approaches infinity or negative infinity, that's going to mean it diverges. If it approaches an actual integer, right, like a solid number like 2, 27, so like any number, uh, it's going to mean it converges. But in this case, it goes to infinity, so it's going to diverge. So it's going to go to infinity and diverge. So this right here is going to be your answer. And uh, yeah, hopefully you found this useful.